Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to a quick how-to video on uh, how to outline some text in GIMP, which I have already had GIMP open, ready to go. As you can see, I have one word demoed ready for you, and I've already merged all the layers, so don't worry about that right now. But what I'm going to show you is instead of having to do like 20 different layers and trying to like specifically outline another copy, I'm going to show you how to get an exact outline. And the difference is I will show you what a copied layer versus an, a genuine outline looks like. So the first thing you're going to want to do is I always make sure I have my toolbox open, which you can go just up to here and hit control B if you want. And then I can just do control L for the layers. You are going to need your layers open for this. So go ahead and hit control L to make sure that that's open. So you can see these over here and then your shortcut for text is just T. So there you go. And we'll do that. And I will first get this going. So we'll just put the rest of the, uh, channel name in here and as you can see it's pretty small so I'm gonna beef it up a bit and change it to my font that we use. whoopsie my font that we use we get about right there and I want it to be black now I obviously can't see that very well so I want to outline it with some white to make it pop so the first thing you're gonna do and I know this is gonna seem counterintuitive but uh, turn off that channel right there so you can't see it and the next thing you're gonna do is right click on it and go down to where in the three A's are right here in the middle it says text to path click that now it's basically going to invisibly outline that and you're going to go over to select and none it should be grayed out but if it's not make sure you hit select none good and now you are going to create a new layer so make sure you right click on that text you just did and click uh, click new layer excuse me and hit OK and now it's still there but you can't see it now make sure whatever color you want to outline the word with is set over here already in your color box in your toolbox. So I want it in white so it's already set there obviously and then you go down to select, excuse me, you go to edit up at the top, you go down to edit and you go all the way down to the third box at the bottom where it says stroke path. Click that and then line width you can set to however many pixels you want. Six is usually good for what I do for this font and you hit stroke. And there it is, but obviously you only have the outline, so now you can turn that back on, and bam, you now have your outline. Now what I do, because if you try moving this, it's obviously not gonna follow it, so the first thing I do is uh, usually lock the two together, but you don't have to do that. So what I normally do first is I'm going to make sure that, is that the one I want? Yeah. Make sure that I alpha select that this outlines the entire word that you just made instead of the actual white outline itself. It's doing the black words. And then I'm just gonna add a little drop shadow to it just to make it look like it's floating a little bit. And there we go. And now I'm gonna merge these layers together. And bam, the whole thing is there. There you go. And that is how you outline text. Now, the difference that I was talking about, and I'll hide that really fast, is that the way I used to do it, which worked for the time, but I kind of had to get a rough idea of what I was doing prior to, so it'd be a lot of trial and error before I really got what I wanted, is I'd make the word, you know, you get your color, and you'd alpha to select it again, alpha to selection at the bottom of their, your right click right here, the little red square, and it outline it, and then you'd make a new layer. And then the next thing I would do is I would grow it and I would have to, I usually do about six, but let's say we'll do like, we'll do 10 for a good example. Now it, now it technically has outlined it, but watch when I paint it, which shift B is your shortcut for paint, by the way, you paint that it's overlaid it. Oh no, big deal. Not that big deal. Cause you can just flip the layers, but now you can see that like all the holes in the words are filled up too. And I don't want that. I want that empty little slot right there to make it still look like it has that eight bit look to it because now if I were to do the O in this font at a 10 growth rate I'd probably have no open spot right there and I want it to look like it's actually going through the letter so again just uh, I'll do it again really fast just to show everybody and we'll get that gone as well we can leave that turned off and control shift A is to get rid of this alpha selection that's your select none again so we'll just whoopsie turn that off all right so now we're going to text and we're going to do millennia just to 
quick recap. Uh, select your font, obviously, and then grow it to whatever size you want. And then change it to black for my color. Turn that off. Go down to text to path in your little 3A box right here. Click that. And then make sure select none is grayed out. If it's not, make sure you click that. And then uh, new layer, okay. And then go down to stroke path, stroke. And there you go, that's all there is to it. And you have successfully outlined the word the way that you wanted it to look without having to grow another layer. So I hope this helps, and uh, if you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, if you have any problems, leave a comment below, and I'll quickly respond and try to help with uh, anything that you might be experiencing. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.